Hi guys, Sabelo speaking here. So in this video, I'll be talking about the most important trading pattern in the Forex exchange market. So this pattern is the head and shoulder pattern. So I'm going to talk about the rules of the head and shoulder pattern. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the confidences that you must incorporate when you are trading the head and shoulder pattern. Thirdly, I'm going to share with you my strategy that i've created using head and shoulder pattern and then lastly i'm going to talk about my trading plan when i trade the head and shoulder pattern strategy stay tuned okay guys welcome back to the video so just to remind you, we are going to talk about the head and shoulder pattern. So head and shoulder pattern is a very profitable trading pattern that I've seen in my entire trading career. So in this example here, I'm having an example of a head and shoulder pattern for a buy. As you can see, we have the left shoulder here. We have the head and we have the right shoulder and we saw the market breaking the neckline retested it and then it bought okay so on the left hand on the right hand side we have an example of a selling market we see the market making a left shoulder here making the head making the right shoulder and then it broken the neckline which is this line here then it retested it and then it sold so our entry as always is going to be after the break out of the neckline as you can see this is the neckline and then market broken it retested it and then it sold same thing applies in a buying setup we need to wait for the market to break the neckline and then come to retest the neckline and then we are going to buy afterwards so now let's look at my rules of the head and shoulder pattern so i'm going to start with a buy setup so if i want to catch a, a head and shoulder pattern for a buy i need to see the market going to the downside first okay making a trending market to the downside then a head and shoulder pattern can be created in the zone here and then i would like to see the market breaking above the neckline so the neckline is going to be here and then a retest and then a buy okay so i need to see a selling market a consolidation market which is a sideways market and then i need to see a reversal market okay from selling to ranging to buy so this is what i want to see this is my rules when i look for a head and shoulder pattern so now maybe let's look at an example of a selling market I want to see the market going to the opposite direction which is the upside in this case and then making a potential of a head and shoulder and then break the neckline which is going to be here break the neckline to the downside retest and then i will look for entries for a sell over here okay so this is going to be my left shoulder head right shoulder and then a breakout of the neckline and then a retest and then a set so that's what i will always want to see before i trade the head and shoulder pattern and then secondly there are some different types of head and shoulder pattern for for example let's say maybe the market is pushing to the upside okay and then it creates a left shoulder that is like this and then you can even draw a diagonal 
support there. So on this case, you can see that you have a left shoulder here, you have a head, you have a right shoulder here, and then my neckline is going to be at the lowest point of the head and shoulder. Okay, my neckline is going to be this guy here, not this one. Okay, so it's going to be this guy. The reason why it's because I want to see the market when it breaks to the downside. I want to see a break that is going to break this whole consolidation. Okay, so this is the lowest point of the consolidation so i would like to see the market break the lowest point of the consolidation not this one okay i don't care much about this the market can the market can come and break this but yet still it's still inside it's still inside the consolidation so that's why i will always tell you guys to wait for a breakout of the lowest point of the head and shoulder so that our retest is going to be here and then we sell so now let's look at an example of a, a buying setup so let's say the market is going to the downside and then we create something like this okay and then some of the traders will draw this We'll draw this and then they will say if it breaks like this they are going to wait for a retest but not knowing that they are still inside the consolidation okay we want to see the market breaking at this highest point of of the consolidation before we take a buy i will see i would like to see the market breaking everything that is inside the head and shoulder i would like to see a breakout like this okay and then a retest like this and then a buy afterwards buying somewhere here so that is my rules of trading the head and shoulder patterns so now let's go to the real markets and analyze the market for you just to spot those head and shoulder patterns using the rules that I, that I was explaining to you so maybe let's go to the h1 on euro chf and then we are going to go back just to look for those head and shoulder patterns that i was teaching you about guys so here we have a nice bullish market and then from there we saw the market making the left shoulder here head and then the right shoulder here and my neckline is right about here and then from there we saw the market breaking the neckline of the head and shoulder we retested it and then it sold so guys um the moment the market breaks the neckline that's when we consider this as a head and shoulder but if the market doesn't break the neckline we don't consider it as an as a head and shoulder reason why is because let's say maybe the market it made yes it made higher high made higher high and then it comes here and then from there it goes up it goes up exactly at this point here it goes up and then continue making high high we won't consider this as a head and shoulder we start considering it as a head and shoulder immediately it breaks the neckline okay and then after that we wait for a retest and then we sell so let's look for maybe an example for a buy now so now we are on this uh, beautiful example of a buy we saw the market making lower lows lower highs lower low lower high lower low lower high making a clear downtrend and then from there from this point here it failed to break the low and then it decided to go up 
but it never broken the neckline okay so yes it, it went up yes the market went up to make this but it never broken the neckline clearly we want to see the market breaking the neckline like this okay a breakout must be clear okay a breakout must be a clear breakout not just a minor breakout so we saw the market making a clear breakout and then from there i was highlighting this neckline then the market came back to reach us the neckline here and then it bought so in our case we could have bought somewhere here stop loss maybe here and then targeting the new high maybe let's make the last maybe let's go maybe to the daily time frame because this thing happens in each and every time frame okay so let's look at the bigger picture right here right here so we saw the market making a clear higher high okay so in this case I, I can see that the market created the left shoulder here and then the head sometimes you can have multiple heads one two three heads and then my neckline is right about here the neckline must be um the lowest point of the consolidation as you can see this was some sort of a ranging market was some sort of a ranging market and then the market from here it broken broken the neckline and then came to retest and then it sold this is a very simple method guys head and shoulder pattern works 100 percent okay so now let's move to the second step which is the most important step so now guys this is step two whereby i will incorporate other methods to trade the head and shoulder patterns perfectly okay guys now this is step two we are going to talk about how do we um, incorporate our strategy of head and shoulder pattern with other methods okay so if maybe you want to trade head and shoulder patterns on the smaller time frame like the hourly time frame or 15 minute time frame that means you must look at the bigger picture you must start analyzing the market from the weekly time frame the daily time frame or even the h4 time frame just to mark those very important zones which are reversal zones and then once you spot those uh, reversal zones in the market then you can go to the smaller time frame and look for head and shoulder patterns so for example let's say we are on the daily time frame and then on the daily time frame you see the market making a downtrend like this okay now you can mark this high here and you can mark at this high you can mark this low sorry you can mark this low so that whenever you go to the smaller time frame like the h4 or h1 you are going to be expecting to see a head and shoulder pattern happening here okay and if the market doesn't respect this zone let's say the market it breaks this it just make higher highs and higher lows all the way up that means we are going to be expecting a head and shoulder pattern happening there for a sale okay so using the high time frame to look for areas of uh, support and resistance and areas of supply and demand is going to help us to spot a head and shoulder pattern that are going to happen around those key zones because a head and shoulder pattern doesn't have to be in a random space it's supposed to be happening exactly at a reversal zone like this one here or this one here sometimes it can even maybe let's say the market is going to the downside like this and then it reverses here and then you can mark this and then here 
we must expect a head and shoulder pattern on the smaller time frame so if we zoom in maybe to the h4 time frame or even hourly time frame we must expect some sort of a head and shoulder pattern happening here so that we can look for a buy so that means we're going to be having at least multiple confluences that are going to support our head and shoulder pattern this is a strong zone for a buy and then the market here is supposed to create a head and shoulder pattern and then once it breaks the neckline of the head and shoulder pattern and that's when we're going to start looking for a buy so now i'm going to take you into the charts and then show you this thing happening in the live markets so guys this is the daily time frame on the daily time frame we are going to mark this type of um, a pattern here the market is making a clear downtrend you can even mark this high here and then as you can see the market made a breakout here and then it came to retest then if it if the market retests like this we are going to go to the smaller time frame and look for a head and shoulder pattern that is happening here and then if we see a breakout of the head and shoulder pattern then we're going to sell the market so now let's jump maybe into let's look at the h4 trying to see whether we got a head and shoulder pattern or not okay we do we did get a head and shoulder pattern the market started making high highs like this like this like this and then from there um to spot a head and shoulder pattern we have the high uh, high point there we have multiple heads here and then my neckline is going to be here remember the neckline must be the lowest point of the consolidation so this is the whole area of consolidation and then the the lowest point of the consolidation is right here which is my neckline so from there i was expecting to see the market break the neckline and then come to retest the neckline and then sell maybe let's adjust it it came to retest right here and then from there the market sold maybe we could have sold after this engulfing kind of stick somewhere around there and then the market just dropped okay so now maybe let's look for an example for a buy maybe we can choose any um we can choose any currency pair so guys we are on the euro cat on the daily time frame so we are going to look for areas of supply and demand or support and resistance so previously we had a low a strong zone here a strong zone here and then when the market got inside this zone i was expecting to see a head and shoulder pattern happening inside here and then buy after the breakout of the neckline so maybe let's go to the lower time frame and see what was happening inside here did we really get a head and shoulder pattern for a buy or not so now we are in the h4 time frame so the market went and tapped into our area of support and then from there it made the lowest point here and then multiple left shoulders but as long as we are in inside this consolidation here i was still waiting for a breakout that is going to happen above this neckline okay so maybe let's mark this correctly this is the consolidation highest point okay but all of this was a consolidation inside and then this was the, the highest point of the consolidation so my expectation here was to see the market breaking above 
the neckline and then come to retest and then buy once the market retest that consolidation and then from there the market decided to buy okay so uh, this is a very nice uh, type of strategy now because we have multiple confirmations for us to buy okay first confirmation is that the market is bouncing at the support zone second confirmation is that the market is creating a head and shoulder pattern here and then third confirmation is that the market make a breakout so let's maybe remove this it broken the neckline and then came to retest and then we buy afterwards so guys now i'm going to move to the third step whereby i'll be teaching you how to create a strategy using this information okay guys now i want to to build a strategy okay now we are going to build a strategy using the information that i was just teaching you about okay so we know now how to spot a head and shoulder pattern okay we know how to spot this we know how to wait for a retest and then a sell same thing applies for a buy we wait for the market to break the neckline break above retest and then a buy and then we also spoke about waiting for the market to come to an area of support or an area of resistance on the bigger picture which is the maybe it can be the daily time frame or weekly time frame or even the h4 time frame if you really want to trade on a smaller time frame so this means the head and shoulder pattern it must be on the smaller time frame and your reversal zones must be on the bigger time frames okay so now we are going to talk about the last confirmation before we pull the trigger okay which is going to be um an entry confirmation so what is an entry confirmation an entry confirmation is going to be some sort of a pattern that is going to be happening here before you enter a buy it can be a bullish engulfing once the market comes to tap back into your neckline then you need to wait for some sort of a bullish engulfing or pin bars or any type of a reversal pattern or a reversal candlestick pattern that is what we're going to be waiting for before we enter a, a buy here same thing applies with a sell we need to wait for a reversal candlestick pattern here before we take a sell and then our stop losses supposed to be above above that entry confirmation if we are selling same thing applies with a sell i mean uh same thing applies with a buy let's say we got reversal candlesticks here and then we, we are going to buy here our stop loss is going to be below uh, that entry confirmation so same thing applies with a sell we are going to enter somewhere here and then we're going to place a stop loss above a data reversal confirmation pattern there so now maybe let's look at the real markets uh let me show you in the real charts so now we are on the real charts here we are still on the euro cat we spotted a reversal zone here on the daily time frame and then we zoomed in into our h4 and that's when we spotted a head and shoulder pattern okay so we have something like left shoulder head and then right shoulder somewhere here and then we waited for the market to break the neckline we waited for the market to break this big neckline here and then waited for a breakout and then a retest 
and then once we get the retest now we need to zoom in we need to zoom in and then we need to wait for the market to give us an entry confirmation it can be a head and shoulder at the neckline okay it can be a head and shoulder or reversal patterns like dojis pin bars spinning top morning stars or any type of a reversal pattern that is going to happen there so in this case we got some sort of um rejections here the market rejected twice exactly at our entry zone and then we waited for the market to close as a bullish candle and then we enter there put a stop loss below those candlesticks for our take profit we are going to look left so we have this area of reversal there which is going to be our take profit another one here another one here and then and then the last one is going to be at the highest peak okay so the last take profit is going to be at the highest peak but you can take the profit maybe when the market is reaching 3R okay when the market is reaching 3R you can take your profit so now maybe let's look at a selling uh, setup so guys we are on the NZD USD then my higher time frame is the H4 that means if I'm spotting reversal zones on the H4 then my head and shoulder pattern must be below that it must be on the h1 or even on 15 minute time frame so um here on the h4 i spotted a breakout okay then i moved into the h1 to spot a head and shoulder pattern so now we're on the h1 the market here created a clear head and shoulder pattern and then this was my neckline neckline was created there and then i wanted to see the market going back to retest the neckline so that i can sell okay let's draw the neckline perfectly including the weeks okay including the weeks and let's remove this so if you just look at this the market retested the neckline with a couple of rejections here as you can see the market rejected here three times and then we can even go to the smaller time frame which in, in this case is going to be our 15 minute time frame just to see what was happening inside there and then you can clearly see that the market rejected here rejected 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 and then after it created an engulfing candlestick you can enter after the engulfing candlestick stop loss above the engulfing candlestick and then my take profit is going to be here so in this case i think uh this is not a perfect example because uh, our take profit was smaller it was 1.6 r okay it was 1.6 r maybe let's look for another example maybe this is going to be in a, a the last example maybe for a buy so guys this is nzd canadian dollar on the daily time frame so we spotted a reversal zone here and then we track across it and then the market came here and then started to reject and then going to the upside then we are going to go to the h4 and look for our head and shoulder pattern so in this case we've got a left shoulder head then a right shoulder here but still we are still inside the neckline so this is the neckline right here at the top so this one i think um, we are going to wait a little longer for it to break the neckline to break the neckline like this 
and then I'll be waiting for a retest and then a confirmation here it can be some sort of an engulfing candlestick here it can be a rejection like pin bars and then once we get those type of enter confirmation then I'm going to buy it from here and then my main take profit is going to be at the previous high here okay guys this is the last step that we need to focus on which is also the most important step this is the trade checklist okay now we need to plan our trade before we execute a trade so first of all i need to check do we have a breakout of the head and shoulder if yes then we are good to go but if no then we need to make sure that the head and shoulder is broken either to the upside or to the downside okay then we move on and then the second thing is the confluence do we have the high time frame confluence are we trading maybe at a support zone or are we trading at the resistance zone or supply zone or demand zone is the market most likely to reverse in that zone if yes then we are going to proceed to the next step and then the third step we need to make sure that we have an entry confirmation pattern some some sort of um, a head and shoulder on the smaller time frame or maybe we have a rejection candlestick or maybe we have an engulfing candlestick before we execute a trade and then fourth we we need to make sure that we have a risk to reward for at least a one is to two i don't go for one is to one okay we need to go for a risk to reward like one is to two or one is to three okay so that whenever maybe let's say we have a losing streak then we are going to be able to recover faster okay because our risk to reward is going to be much bigger and then the last step that we need to really pay attention to is the risk calculator is our risk calculated accordingly or not okay so i have uh, an indicator that is calculating the risk for me i just tell the indicator that okay uh, i'm having this amount amount of money maybe i'm having maybe a 100k account as you know all know me i trade with problems i tell the indicator that i have a 100k balance and then i'm going to be risking maybe 0.5 percent then the indicator is going to tell me the exact lot size for a given uh, type of a setup okay so if you want that indicator make sure that you click on the description below this video and then you download it for free and also if you want this type of a checklist make sure that you download it in the description below so guys thanks for watching if you enjoy this type of videos make sure that you like the video and comment thanks